Hey YouTube, let's talk about heaters for the 125 gallon reef tank. Alright YouTube, this is Brian coming at you again with a, another video. Um, I never really talk much about what I use for heaters in the 125 gallon reef tank. And what you're looking at here is not what I used originally, but I've had a heater failure. So I picked up two cobalt 200 watt neotherms. Had real good luck with this heater on my BioCube in the past, so I thought, what the heck, let's go with this for the, uh, for the big tank too. I was using uh, two Via Aqua titaniums with the controller on them. One of them failed and um, ran into some problems. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But I just wanted to show you, these are the boxes and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, pull out the heaters and show you what they look like if you've never seen them before. All right, so here's what uh, one of the neotherms looks like. They're really um, long and thin heater. They're made of, uh, I always forget what they're made of, but it's the same material as those Aquion black ones are made of. Real sturdy heater. They've got the, the uh, dial right here to change the heat. Um, and then they've got a, um, a bracket with two suction cups on back, but they fit really well. Oops, I didn't put that suction cup on real. They fit really well in a sump or even in the back of an all-in-one type of an aquarium because they're so thin. And what's cool, like on my all-in-one, there's a window down the side of the back sump or the back area. You can set it right up against that window so that you can see that through. Or else in your sump, you can set it somewhere where you're able to see this uh, easily too. So let's go uh, take a look at the tank and uh, we'll talk more about what happened. All right, so here we are. Um, I recently purchased some corals and unfortunately I lost some and some may be gone. This right here, for example, is a really nice orange octospawn. Hoping it comes back. Uh, yesterday there was still um, some some tentacles or whatever you want to call them coming out. This trumpet coral I switched over from my uh, bio cube and then there's a few other corals, some hammers and some um, frog spawns and um, some candy canes here that I picked up that uh, don't look like they're doing very well either. And then the biggest loss is I had a really nice green Sinulara that was over in the cube before. If you look at my old videos on my bio cube, you'll see it towards the top of the tank. Had it placed back there and it was looking really nice and boom. This tank heated up to about 88 degrees and uh, luckily I didn't lose any of the fish but uh, or any of the uh, snails or, or um, crabs either but um, yeah, just didn't do real well as far as um, the corals went. So what I had, as I said before, is two Via Aquas. I'm going to turn on the light here. You can see one of them down there, but there's the controllers. Well, one's still on, the other one's up. The one that's off is the one that failed. For whatever reason, it was reading a lower temperature. It was thinking that it was like in the 60s, so the heater continued to run even when it got so it would never get to the point where it's supposed to kick off when whatever I had it set at 78 or whatever. Yeah, 78. So it was never it was constantly running and just heating up the tank more and more. And what caused me to notice it was that these corals that didn't do well. Um, they did okay for the first week or so that I had them. So um, it was a recent problem. And I do, uh, you know quite often with an infrared thermometer gun, whatever you want to call it, uh, check on this. I got it sitting right outside of the tank, so I'll just walk walk by once in a while and check it out. But anyway, we're gonna pull these Via Aquas out of here and put in the uh, cobalts, and then I will, uh, if I can get in there with the camera, I'll show you how I installed them. 
Alright, so here are the heaters installed. Got one right there, and one back there. They're pretty much just laying on the bottom of the sun. But uh, they do the job and they've held the temperature steady at what I wanted now. So, um, other than the loss of corals, um, I guess uh, disaster avoided. But uh, yeah, that's kind of where things are at, and uh, these heaters are going to work great, I'm glad I've got them. Um, that's about all I've got for you right now on this video. Um, one thing that uh, I've been mentioning a lot lately is I do sell Southern Delight fish food now. Um, it's something I've been using for like four years with my cichlids, but they've also got some formulas that are really good for saltwater tanks, including the marine mix. And I've been using that for well over a year now on my BioCube, and the fish love it. So if you're interested at all in trying Southern Delight, let me know and I can set you up with, uh, with uh, I can sell you some and uh, we can get it out to you. But uh, check that out. Um, my email is going to be below in the comment section if you'd like to order. And other than that, I appreciate everybody that subscribes and that's uh, watched these uh, series of videos on this saltwater tank, uh, the 125 gallon. Until next time, stay tuned.